All right, the first short answer on your selection test is which of Maya's actions show that she is a responsible daughter? So when we are gonna start out with a short answer, we wanna include like the title and then use those words in that question to help us frame our answer. So we're gonna say something like, in the story, my favorite chaperone, there are multiple, like, so there's many, there's a lot, so multiple, various, all those words would work. There are multiple actions that show Maya is a responsible daughter. So notice I'm using words from the question in my first sentence, right? So there are multiple actions that show Maya is a responsible daughter. Now, I thought of two examples, one when she translates and one when she takes over for her mother. So I'm gonna write that, right? I'm gonna use one example and another example. So one example is when Nershan, her brother, is in a fight and she's going to have to translate for her father. So when I write this in a sentence, right, I write Nershan and then I'm gonna put more information about Nershan, so I have to put that in commas. So Nershan, comma, her brother, comma, is in a fight and she is asked to translate for her father. Now, Maya states in the text, we can see right here, it says, she says, yes, I must always do this for my parents at the store, at the doctor, etc." So this is an exact quote, but yes, it's a quote, but it's a quote of a quote. So then you have to put quotation marks and then like a little, one single quotation mark to show that it was dialogue in the story. So yes, I must always do this for my parents at the store, at the doctor, things like that. So, right, a single quote showing it was dialogue and then two quotes. Now, in the story, right, we can see that it is line, um, it's line 178, 179, but I'm gonna say 178, line 178. So I need to cite where I found that in the story. All right, now another example, All right? So it says, which of Maya's actions, that's plural. So it doesn't mean just one, it means more than one. So another example is when Maya's mother injures her foot. All right, so Maya's mother injures her foot. Maya takes on much of the household chores, right? So again, you know, these are some sentences that I can think of those words. So sometimes you have to think a little bit more, right? But she, we know she takes on the chores and she takes on her mother's jobs as well, her cleaning jobs. So Maya takes on much of the household chores as well as her mother's cleaning jobs. And then we wanna explain why those two examples show she's responsible. So you kind of almost have to like explain it, like over explain your answers in a short answer. Both of these examples demonstrate, which is a fancier word for show, demonstrate Maya is, and I'm outside so you might hear a little bit of background noise. So Maya is respond, is it, oh is responsible because she is willing to help her parents uh, when they need it, right? So that's why those two things show that she is responsible. So let's read this all together. In the story, My Favorite Chaperone, there are multiple actions that show Maya is a responsible daughter. One example is when Nershan, her brother, is in a fight and she is asked to translate for her father. Maya states, Yay, yes, I must always do this for my parents at the store, at the doctor, things like that. Line 178. Another example is when Maya's mother injures her foot. Maya takes on much of the household chores as well as her mother's cleaning jobs. Both of these examples demonstrate Maya is a responsible daughter because she is willing to help her parents when they need it. Now let's kind of break this down, right, so that you can do the same thing. So first, you're going to restate the question, right? And that's what I did in this first sentence here. I'm using these words, right? Action, show Maya's responsible daughter in that first sentence, right? Then you need examples and evidence, right? So my examples, right? Talking about when she's asked to translate and um, talking about when Maya's injures her, or her mother injures her foot right and then we need evidence okay so um that's some evidence right there right i kind of explain what happens in the story that's evidence but you can also right we want to have exact evidence which is what i did here is i cited you know i found exact evidence and i cited it 
line 178, and I use this exact evidence, right, word for word from the book. And you can do that as long as you cite it correctly, right? And so this is also, you know, this is evidence, and I kind of paraphrase it, I put it in my own words. That is also another way that you can um, use evidence. All right, then kind of the part that a lot of times students tend to leave off that really makes your answer at the eighth grade level is you need to then explain, don't just assume that whoever is reading your work, right, or reading your answer is gonna connect those dots. You need to explain why that evidence is important or why that it's relevant to the point that you're trying to make. How does your evidence prove your answer? All right, and so there you go. Hopefully you guys can repeat that for the next question.